Olá a todos. Hello everyone. Hello Fabric. Uh, my name is Rafael Carvalho. I'm from the Azores, from São Miguel Island, uh, from a small fisherman uh, village called Ribeira Cante. And I'm here today in Palácio de Santana, in Ponta Delgada, uh, to bring you some of our uh, music, traditional music, in uh, our viola da terra, the instrument that most represents the Azores. And I started with a song, it's called Moraria. Normally we play it when people improvise uh, and singing. But uh, and now I will bring for you Pezin Velho. Normally people dance it. And it's another very happy song that we play in our island. <laughs> Uh, we have several variations of this theme because uh, musicians, um, no one played the same way, so everyone has their own melody, and it was very, it was very beautiful because from one musician to another, everyone would bring their own uh, touch, their personal uh, touch. Um, about the instrument, so this is like I said, viola de terra. This is uh, we normally translate as viola, viola from the land, because it's from here, from the Azores. And uh, it's played in all of our islands through the year. I normally say we play it from December to December, because uh, people play it in Christmas, going to their friend's house. We call it the tradition of drinking some liqueurs. We talk about the tradition of Menin Mija. So we go to our friend's house and we bring the violas, we play it during the summer we play, people dance um, in several islands. It still happens very spontaneous, where the viola plays and people just dance all night. But um, I've been playing some very joyful songs, and, but we also have some sad songs in the, in the uh, very introspective, nostalgic songs. Um, and the one that most represents for me the sound of the instrument is so that. So that uh, because the, the old masters, old musicians say that um, the hearts of the instrument represents the heart that went away and that heart that stayed in the island. 
So for us, this is very important. Most of my family is in the US or in Canada. Uh, people looking for a better way of living, for a future for their, their kids. And of course, they, some of them never return to the Acer. So it's very important that the hearts, our instrument, our main instrument represents the heart that went away and that heart that stayed in the islands. And they, are, they will be to get forever connected by this tier, we call it the tier of Sodat. So I will play a little bit of Sodat. So these are our, our traditional songs and normally in my concerts I like to bring uh, the little of the past but also a little of the present. So um, my job, I, I work as a teacher, so I teach the, the instrument um, and to, to students, they start six, with six years old but my oldest is 84 years old. So I have a lot of students and uh, what we try to teach them is, of course, all of our traditions. Uh, there are hundreds of melodies, beautiful melodies from the Azores. But of course, we, know, we need to, uh, to understand that we need to keep uh, um, creating new songs, original songs, comp composing new songs so that the instrument can, uh, can continue to live and bring new, uh, new audiences, new, pu new public and try to, especially the young ones, to bring them their interest to the instrument. So I will play now two original songs. The first is called Origins. Origins. And the second is called Rilheiras, uh, which I composed in 2017 for my third CD. And uh, so Origins and then Rilheiras.
So now we go to Rigueiras. Um, the beginning is just the sounds of the of the, the ox carts that people used um, and the marks that they made in the, the lava. So that tries to make to a little bit of that sound.
So this one is Fado Menor, uh, and I will end with uh, Fado Maior, um, not like the Lisbon or Coimbra Fado. These are, are uh, traditional Fados that people normally sang and all night. Uh, they could have the lyrics prepared, but most of the time is in improvisation. This was one of them. And normally, most of my old, um, older um, students, they all want to learn and uh, just the chords to, because they, they all remember singing the, the minor fado or the major fado. So this is the, uh, some variations of uh, fado menor. And uh, to the, for the last song, I decided to bring Fat Corrid uh, by Furado. It's a major fado. It's very joyful. People s s normally still dance it in our folkloric groups, but not, not also. In, when there's a gathering of people, um, in a barbecue uh, or in a family or so social, uh, when people get together, uh, in San Miguel Island, normally, if someone has the accordion, the viola, the violon, so people normally play the fad mayor, and people just dance, uh, dance around um, all night long. So this still happens in some places, which is very uh, beautiful. These are some variations of fad menor. So. Uh, say goodbye to all of you in Fabric, uh, Fall River. Thank you for the opportunity, for the invitation. And uh, it's by distance, but it's uh, the best way this year for us all to be together. So I think it's what's, import what's the most important thing is that we still continue producing, playing, and uh, being uh, together with each other. And that's, I think that's the best message that we can pass to everyone, is that uh, we can all, all together, of course, uh, try to get through these hard times and I think this is one of the good ways for us to be together. So thank you. And from here, from Palacio de Santana and Ponta Delgada, I say goodbye with my viola de terra, with Fat Corrido, you can now all dance. <laughs> so see you uh, in the next opportunity.